An update now on last night's prison riot inside the maximum security prison in Shirley, Massachusetts. The story was breaking last night at 10 and 11, and tonight we're getting a first-hand look at the damage caused by the inmates. Now, the Massachusetts Department of Corrections has posted several photos of the destruction left behind after the riot. You can see it here. The inmates used fire extinguishers and weapons to destroy chairs, tables, beds, and windows in the housing unit. Sprinkler heads were broken off, camera systems were destroyed, and the computer system in the unit was also destroyed. The prison guards confiscated these makeshift weapons after regaining control of the prison. The riot started with a fight between two inmates and quickly escalated when 47 inmates refused orders to return to their cells. Corrections officers were forced to evacuate the unit for their own safety. The chaos lasted more than three hours. At approximately 7 p.m., members of the Special Operations Unit deployed chemical agent into the housing unit and were able to successfully gain compliance of the inmates and secure the unit. Now, Turco says the housing unit is a total loss. The inmates involved will be now segregated during an investigation. The prison will remain locked down until it's completed. Now, convicted killer Aaron Hernandez is an inmate at the same prison, but reportedly was not involved.